deep and relaxed breathing. And the key here is that you want to train your body to breathe this way naturally and unconsciously. And I'll explain what that means in what one minute, right? But first, let's just remember the main benefits of deep and relaxed breathing. Scientifically speaking, it activates our parasympathetic nervous system. And you may remember that that's our rest and digest system, which basically allows our body and our mind to easily and quickly become relaxed. And it does this by decreasing our tension, our blood pressure, and even our heartbeat. And this is critical to no longer feel socially anxious or nervous, but instead experience our bodies and our minds in an internal state of peace and tranquility. This is very well known and you may have already heard this, but this is where many self-development people or even trained therapists get it wrong. To tap into this relaxed state, many of them will teach you some type of breathing technique. For example, they may teach you something like boxed breathing, where you focus on your in-breath and your out-breath. You're counting them, right? All just to calm down your nervous system. And this works very well if you're sitting alone at home in a room meditating. But there's at least two big reasons why this technique will never work for you in a social environment. Number one is by focusing on your breath, you are no longer able to be fully present to the moment, right? To the people in front of you, to whatever the situation demands of you. But instead, now you're stuck in your head counting and thinking about your breath. And this leads to more anxiety as you're trying to do way too many things at once. But the biggest reason why this will never work is because it does absolutely nothing to train our body so that we can breathe better. And here's where Dr. Alexander Lowen comes in. Dr. Lowen says that breathing is a bodily function, obviously, but we need to start with our body and to teach our body to breathe naturally this way, deeply and relaxed. And we do this by releasing the blockages that prevent us from breathing fully. And these blockages are muscle tensions um, around our whole breathing apparatus, let's say, (laughs) that causes us to not breathe fully, especially during moments of anxiety. But let's keep this simple. These muscle tensions are kind of like having a belt tied, tied around your neck, making it difficult to breathe. And another one tied around your chest. And let's say one around your solar plexus and one around your belly. And imagine trying to breathe deeply with all those belts tied around you. It's not going to work well. And if you are a person that still experiences anxiety or nervousness in in social settings, then you definitely have chronic muscle tightness in one or all of these areas guaranteed. If you didn't, you wouldn't be suffering this anymore. But this is where the body-mind connection comes in, the power of the body-mind connection. After doing the simple exercises to loosen up those belts around your throat, chest, solar plexus, and belly, you'll notice that the muscles which used to constrict during social situations now no longer have the strength to stop you from breathing deeply anymore. And it may shock you the first time you find yourself present in a social situation, no anxiety, and just easily being able to speak whenever you want to. And it's amazing. It changed my life completely. Activation point number one deep and relaxed breathing to have a calm body and mind. You can move a mountain, you can break rocks, you can be a master, don't wait for luck.